Mario. Hey guys, so today I'm here with Super Mario 64, I think a big game changer. And I was playing Zelda recently and I reviewed it and we went through the Water Temple and all that fun stuff. We didn't do the whole game, but I played a little bit of it to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I thought, you know, Mario deserves a little bit of a video too. <laughs> this game of course is a classic and differs slightly from Ocarina of Time. Uh, it's cool because it has the same type of interactive world, but here it's more cartoony. And I don't know, I mean, I, l I like this game, don't get me wrong, but there are, there are things that could have been done better, as with any other game. One of the bigger complaints with this game is that you're kind of doing the same thing over and over again. So, for example, you know, in, in each place you have to collect eight red coins and all that stuff. And then the sunken ship. So, some people feel that that's tedious, and I agree it can be, but that's kind of what this what Super Mario was basically built on, was going back and doing things, um, you know, and, and backtracking and stuff. And here they took it to a different level, which I thought was really cool. You know what, is there one of those pink bomb bombs around? Because I want to try doing something else. I guess there ain't. Where is he over here, I think? Let's go see. Hmm. Okay, well I guess the bob -omb guy isn't here, so we're gonna go ahead and actually do what they want us to do. <laughs> So what's cool now is the new generation has the re-release of this on DS. I wasn't a big fan myself because it changed characters and stuff. It's a cool little add-on, but I don't know, I thought it was kind of an annoying gimmick. Mostly because nothing needed to be changed in this game. This game was good the way it was, you know? It's kind of like when Lucas, George Lucas, ruined his own films. When he recut all those Star Wars. Oh my gosh. That was a, a, a national tragedy. Alright, where is this thing? So basically, I just have to lure this thing out. I shouldn't have consumed all those coins. Is he actually out right now? Holy crap, alright, awesome. Sweet. So yeah, this is not easy. Doing this. I may die. This one? Okay, well I guess I missed, so I'm going... Fucking A. Alright, please be the one. Nope. Man, I hope it spawns you back here. Does it? Nope. So in all fairness, that is how... That's the classic format. You know, you have to go back. But I think there were checkpoints in... Some of the other Mario games. Uh, like the one with Yoshi, or, yeah, the one with Yoshi in it, which naturally I can't remember the name of. I play these games relatively often, and yet I can't remember the name. So recently I bought a 24 game holder, an original made by Nintendo. So I'm really excited to see that come in. It's supposed to come tomorrow. So I'm sure I'm going to post a video or two of it. It does need a little bit of restoration. 
So that's something I plan on doing over the weekend with a whole lot of other stuff. <laughs> I always do that. But yeah, it's actually fun to kind of go through and refurbish things. Um, recently I bought a Japanese console on eBay and I'm going to basically just replace the motherboard with an American one. Because I forget which one it is, if we're PAL or NTSC or whatever. And I just remember reading uh, from people who had the Japanese consoles that it didn't look so hot on our televisions. But yeah, it's gold and it's going to go great with Zelda, that's for sure. <laughs> Okay, I guess he just kind of disappeared, that's interesting. Uh, and I've forgotten which one I didn't try, I guess it was this one? Okay then. Well, which one could it possibly be then? What? what um, oh, it starts with that one. Okay. Alright then, so this was part of the compromise, I think, of difficulty of this game. I'm sure they could have put checkpoints in, but they didn't. So now we go back down to taunt this eel. Come on, eel. Let's go. There's also one where he has a star on his tail. Trying to think of something that I can just. Oh, well, alright, let's do it. Oh, nice. Go away, Mr. Eel, let me get over there. Ah, oh, fuck you, Eel. You look delicious. Alright. I wish I wasn't recording this with my phone because I could just look up the damn order, but I will get this. The boobers, the boobers of the, of the life, the boobers. Okay, that didn't work out. Yeah, I knew it was going to be that other one. So it's the last place you look. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Are you, are, are you serious? Are you seriously gonna do this to me? My vain attempts at trying to get to this stupid thing? Okay, so apparently the whole thing resets, so you have to do it all over again. At this point... I'm just going to speed this up in post-production. Okay, so here we are again. Once again, my friends. Hopefully, I'll get other air bubbles when I air again. Is it this one? Ah. Well, apparently not. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the first one. Or attempt to, anyway. Get a clear path. This was definitely an issue was controlling with this game, specifically the joystick. 
Okay, there we go. Alright. So there's that. Let's do left, right, down. Okay, so left. Yeah, so that was a wonderful illustration of how annoying this game can be. And now basically I'm swimming for the hills, so that way I can get as close to the top as possible. So I'm just going to settle right here. This made my life easier. I mean, if I fall down, I fall down. Maybe I can long jump over there? Yep. Awesome. Alright, cool. So there's a star, yeah. Okay, so we got the 30 stars, but I'm not gonna go down there. Not gonna bother. So I'm also going to do something different, because those pink bomb bombs should be around here somewhere. I think he's over here. There we go. What up, son? It's the pink bomb bomb. So I'm not going to do the red coin thing today, but it's a good distraction, I think, you know, from the prescribed things to do, because the red coins are there at any point, and in most levels you can get them, you don't need something special. Um, where is that stupid cannon? There it is. So this is something that I always loved to do as a kid, was use this cannon and do these, like, I don't know what to call them, like, space tricks. Holy crap, first try. I remember one time working on this whew, for a very, very long time, an embarrassingly long time, I think in my early 20s. So I was born in... 86. This thing, I think, came out in 96 or 97. And I don't think I had a Nintendo 64 until I was about 12, but some of these games that I have here, like this particular cartridge, I've had that long. <laughs> and oddly enough, mine, it, I know it wasn't bought used because I was there when it was bought. Um, mine didn't actually come with Super Mario. And the company's thing was, oh, well, we didn't want to force a game on people, which is, you know, the biggest cop-out ever, in my opinion. Uh, but I think I actually, as a school project, I wrote to them, part of a school project, I wrote to them several times about several different things, and it was always fun to get that Nintendo header letter back, and unfortunately, I think I, I pitched all that stuff a long, long time ago. Uh, we did that. So this is what I mean about wandering around is, you know, it's still, the game is still fun. Just wandering around. <laughs> so I don't know if we did, did we do shifting sand land? Yeah, we did. Okay, so we got one there. Um, you know what? I lied. I will take you guys over here because I like you. So this I liked because you actually have to beat a level in a new world, or course, whatever you wish to call it. And it's relatively easy, it's not rocket science at all. But some of the stuff in this course is hard. I mean it's kind of like, I don't know, I would consider it kind of a bonus course, you know? 
But I, you know, that's the sad thing. I, I think maybe it's like 120 stars in this game. I don't even remember. And I'm sure people are going to hate me for not remembering that. But, um, I think you get some lives and you're able to use a cannon to shoot to the top of the castle. Which is funny because it's not a big deal at all now when we think about it. But back then it was such a big deal to get all the stars. And I'm sure it's that way with any generation, but you have to remember that my generation broke the norm of video gaming because nerds and people who even just played video games were kind of considered outcasts sometimes. Because not a lot of people had computers at certain times, even in the 90s when I grew up. Some people didn't have computers. That was just terrible. There's no excuse for what just happened. <laughs> Let's try that again. But yeah, you can see how this game kind of pioneered the DS release, the new Super Mario Brothers thing. And it was revolutionary to the Mario universe. Even his potato fingers. <laughs> so now you can see that there's a pit there that I can go into, and I'm just going to go into it, and we're going to play some Bowser. So here, there are also red coins, so those are more stars to get. And, I mean, it's actually not that hard to get the eight red coins in this. I contend, in some cases, it's easier than other levels to get the eight red coins in the Bowser levels. I don't know why I'm bothering to collect this stuff. Uh, I think I have to do a wall jump or something, but I can't just... There we go. Sorry for that camera shake right behind the stand. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Sweet. Yeah, so obvious issue, but at least they gave you control of the camera. There are other games that don't even do that. It's sad. Other games made after this game that basically, if, you, if you're like fighting someone and you're in front of a pole, it doesn't move until you move. So you're basically playing blind. It's fun. Ah. Now this was cool. Um, I don't, I, I mean, I've played a lot of the uh, 8-bit and 16-bit stuff. I don't think you ever have to do something like that. So that was a cool little add-on. And you know good games when you can just kind of bypass enemies. That's a big thing for me. Because this game is a lot more about the gymnastics than anything else. Gymnastics. There we go. So sometimes you can use that to your advantage, that jumping thing. I don't know if I need to do this right now. Ooh, it's your laugh. Top of the world, man. <laughs> I question their accuracy of physics. Of course, a nice classic Bowser fight. This, I cannot remember which Mario this mimics, but there was something like this. There was a Bowser fight where you were on a rock and you jumped on one side and that happened. 
It's just more dramatic here, basically. By the way, I suck at this, so bear with me. And of course, I can't actually see where I'm aiming. It also sounds like he's saying so long, gay Bowser. The Bowser just wound up in the in the lava just there. Come on, you bastard. Come on, piece of meat. Get your tail, bitch. Give me that to you. Such a near miss. Yeah, I think I like that better. Well, that's convenient that he stops for a second. Okay, there we go. I thought I'd be able to just kind of gently push him into it, but that didn't work. Come on, Bowser, do your thing. There we go. I'm sure what I'm doing wrong here. There we go. Yeah, and that's the problem. He always goes... Maybe if I just hang out over here. No. Trying to get him to charge me near one of those bombs. There we go. Wow. In all fairness, that should have been a hit. Alright, let's see. It's like basically my final chance here. Can I do it? Nope. So yeah, you can see why people called this game tedious, but at the time it was really cool. Um, Nintendo 64 itself was just amazing at the time, so. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and watching me suck at this Bowser level. Check out my other videos, I've done a lot of reviews, I've been working on uh, video game stuff. PC DOS space jazz and also like I said I got other games like this up there. Ah oh, man. Yeah, I suck at this. Whew.